Mike says, I have a SharePoint list I need to archive to reduce the number of items in the list. I need to be able to recall the data on demand as it contains employee performance data that must be compiled and averaged at the end of the year. Any ideas? I I love the list. Again, this is, uh, we just kind of answered one of these previously, but in changing your views and using that magical little today option in your filters. If you look in the descriptions of the filters, there's two dynamic fields that one of them looks at me, it's in square brackets, so it looks at the logged in user. The other one looks at today and using that date as a dynamic date. So you don't, don't have to constantly go in, you know, 30 days later and change the day it's referring to. So it, you can say, I need everything from today, mine, it, um, something like everything greater than today minus or 365 or something like that. And it gives you everything within the last year. I did that just yesterday for something. Mm -hmm. oh, any other ideas? No, the only other thing that I've really seen is having a column that's very specific. That, as you said, you can filter it, that you, it can be archive. You can call it archive and then tick off everything that's archive um, as an actual, um, you know, whether it's a radial button or a tick box or whatever you, you know, kind of create there. And just then that can just be filtered out of the list and then you can bring it back when you need to. So, yeah, creating that kind of extra metadata. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I was going to add is, is like, again, going back to my the old school, um, you know, the 25 years ago, um, building out, looking at data and having, uh, you know, this this issue um, was uh, making sure that all we captured that we left within it was for us, it was like the 13 months. So you could look at January of 2022 against January of 2021 and that rolling cycle. Anything older than that automatically got archived, got pulled back out of there. So um, making sure that you're only keeping what you need to keep, if you're still hitting the limitations, Sherry, I think you nailed it. It's it's the create the views. Yeah. Well, you can store okay. the data, but you just, what do you really need to access on a daily basis? Yeah, I mean, I, I've also seen it where you know, is it a year, year by year that you're keeping and that you can actually then, you know, export that data maybe to Excel, have it there in a folder that's an archive, SharePoint, you know, kind of something like that where you get information, you can still go back to it, although it's not part of your main list anymore because you've kind of got rid of it and you've started it. But I have seen it where you go, they go year on year, we create a new list so that we haven't got a massive list and then you know it's part of an, you know, a part of the archive process if you need to be able to then go back to it at some point. Yep. The hardest part about that is pulling it back together because it looks right. like he's trying to do some data analysis on performance. So yeah. you know, now you got to put That's it back a together. It's a, rolling, it's a rolling calendar. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, And you could potentially then have, you know, multiple re old repositories. How do you bring all of it together to see the the history and you know then I you know for me then I go is lists actually the right technology for you to use right. should you be yep. using another system and a, like a, a proper you know system when it comes to performance there's a lot of different awesome you know HR reporting performance type stuff that you could be using that's going to give you what you need and it may be that list is not the technology for you for what you want to do. Well, there's a exactly. whole discussion. We've got the there's a now, right? Let's use right. the data. So pre-dataverse, right. yeah. I would have gone in and I would have taken some kind of workflow, SharePoint workflow, when it was still a SharePoint workflow. Now it's Power Automate. Created a clone list, moved them over, and then would have had to go. For me, it would have Microsoft Access to bring them back together and do a join table and SQL right. query and blah blah. Like we don't have to do that anymore. Microsoft makes it very easy, especially with the dataverse. You know, you can. Now store that, and it's it's meant for that. SharePoint lists, like you know, well, can you build a database? It's, well, it goes back to that. No. Share, SharePoint is not a database. Yeah. Right? If you're doing database things with it, yeah. Yeah. then that's exactly your point. Dataverse is there for that. It's right. an Azure discussion. Move it out of the list. Yeah. You say yeah. it all the time, Christian. You know, should we is SharePoint a database? Yes. It's could we? Should yes. we? Not yes. necessarily. Could we? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, as a, I think you might need some, something a little extra potentially. Yeah. For sure. It's um, Azure 
and um, you know, it, it, just to paraphrase, uh, paraphrase Spinal Tap, um, Azure goes to eleven. SharePoint, you're all the way up, all the way up. Where are you going to go? Azure to 11.